Hi and welcome everyone. This is Lavender Sky Panther. Today is Friday, July 9th, 2021, and today's topic is called Cloud Cruiser with cloud and quotes. It's a collection of images and sky observations happening July 3rd through the 8th, 2021, and it is the July 4th edition of the show and the 97th show so far. And before we get into the sky observations, I'd like to say good day. Osio, how, buongiorno, guten tag, kia ora, jambo, kedu. Buenos dias, bonjour, ni hao, tien dobre, konnichiwa, dobro onya, anyo aseo, boa tarji, dobre den, aloha winala, kalimera, hudendag, and good day. And today's starter image is of some dance floor style party lights that I brought out for the 4th of July to celebrate all things freedom. And actually I had them outside and others joined in and there was dancing, these lights synchronized to the music, and just a great time was had by all. So anyway, I hope all of you are living freely, breathing freely, and um, just out there enjoying life and having fun to help us, you know, bring up the energies and lightheartedness and good spirit in this world. It's very needed right now, so I hope you can do something that is actually just fun uh, right now or this weekend. Anyway, let's get into the show. Oh, also a little mini disclaimer, I am outside recording today, so if you hear dogs barking and other things, planes, helicopters, or whatever, I hope you can still hear me through the din. All right, now I am going to include a Words, Wisdom, and Spirit of the Day slide again, this time around on the show. I just pulled a card from the Mystical Shaman or Shaman Oracle deck. It's kind of one of those potato-potato situations with the pronunciation of Shaman. I'll just say Shaman uh, for this show. But anyway... Um, I want to focus on the positive aspects of the blade in terms of the um, energy capabilities, the energy directing uh, capabilities of the blade. Now, um, I think a lot of people impulsively think of, uh, just probably through a lot of conditioning on this planet, of a blade being a weapon of war or, you know, for a tool for cutting things or whatnot. In this case, I just want to focus on how beautiful this image is, um, you know, pulling pulling in energy, excuse me, um, from the sun, you know, directly down in and to grounding it into the earth. And conversely, it's pulling energies up and, and guiding them out up toward the, the heavens. Um, similarly, we've got the blade of grass, and this is St. Augustine grass, and I love the way, too, that it points up toward the sun, you know, whether the sun comes up in the east and sets in the west, so to speak, you know, the, the blades of grass track with it a little bit, you know, depending on the hour of the day, which is beautiful, energetic movement. And then um, I love the aspect of this. If you look at this crease or fold, you know, this guides water down like a little rivulet and brings it right down into the earth. So it's just very nourishing, directing that beautiful energy in as well. And these are like phases of the moon coming across on this card, depicted on this card. And those actually remind me of the dew drops that settle in on these blades of grass. Now to the right, it, uh, it's a wider blade, if you will, of a huge... Um, leaf on the the white bird of paradise tree and this reminds me too of how these blades of grass can either catch the sun through backlight you know or they can look like very much in dark shadow depending on where the sun is coming through and the angle of the sun the azimuth of the sun all of it plays into that so in this case um you know, the, the blades of grass obviously can look very more white or yellowish. They can go into really dark, dark greens if they're in shadow, almost toward, you know, deep, deep um, dark green to black. Or if you have them, you're looking out over a, a field of grass in the moonlight, it can look, you know, almost blue, you know, or, or white blue. And so I love the aspect of that as well, of the blade, that it can, you know, direct energies, also uh, direct light or um, shield against light. Anyway, um, when we look at this image, we also have feathers. So this reminds me of a feather. And that also too, of course, directs thermals, uh, currents up in the sky. Um, you know, just a wondrous, wondrous shape. <laughs> um, and with wondrous capabilities, depending on whether it's a feather or blade of grass or something else. Anyway, see what this inspires um, in so far as thoughts and ideas in you. And uh, let's move on. So whether you are new, or new, are new or returning to this channel, thank you so much for being here and welcome. If you are returning, you may want to skip this bit. I'm just going to go over some of the basics. If you're new, stick around. I'm just going to go over what I do here and why I'm doing it. So, and in any case, I'm just, um, I can't wait to get to the uh, series of slides associated with the cover photo of the day. So we'll get there. Anyway, uh, I take photos, I observe um, my environment, um, my comings and goings, I just look up in the sky and when I see some strange things or anomalies or 
just something doesn't seem quite right or just something is wondrously beautiful, I document it. I take photos on a camera phone. Um, what I do then is take the original photo and I'm going to show you some examples where I enhance the photo, meaning I edit attributes of the photo such as color saturation, brightness, um, contrast, things of that nature, just to better draw out things in any given photo uh, because the camera phone has such a wide range of photo and light sensitivity, far more than our human eye can grasp right now. It just does some wondrous things when we go to enhanced mode and you'll see that coming up. So in this case, um, you know, I also am going to, you know, drop in some letters here and there and that just helps focus on just key elements or highlights within each highlight <laughs> scene, so to speak, because sometimes there's so much going on in any one, one photo. Uh, it just helps me keep focused and, and help keep the running time on the, show, on the show pretty tight and neat the way I like it. Anyway, um, you're going to see strange cloud and quotes activity labeled here on the slides. That means uh, cloud and quotes is referring to suspected cloak and craft in the skies. Um, whether it's ET or human made or a collaboration of the two. In more cases than not, I'm going to go with ET, extraterrestrial made, just because of the huge scale of some of these things and intricacies and what it would take to cloak and uncloak. You'll see what I mean coming up. Also, um, when I say cloud in quotes, the actual cloaking material I'm referring to is plasma. That's just going to be my go-to word for it. Uh, it's just referring to anything of denser quality, um, much denser than water vapor or cloud. Um, that can help cloak and hide things and that lingers in the sky for a very long time uh, in some cases. Uh, anyway, I think that's about it. Well, we're also going to look at color signatures. So when you see red pinks pop up, uh, do look at my description box below to see what could be generating that color in the sky lately. All right, the rest we'll do on a case-by-case -case basis as we move through the show. So here I'm looking west uh, toward 8 in the evening. This is actually on July 3rd. And um, just notice these long strands, you know, this, this splaying off at one angle and this going down at another angle, and, them both, and they're both seemingly relatively the same length. And these types of things just don't pop up in the sky. At least, you know, this area is Miami, Florida. I know it. I've been on this planet for many decades observing the skies intently, and this just doesn't occur normally, so I flagged it and uh, took a picture of it. Also, we've got this weird fuzzy choppiness of cloud happening beyond, and all of it just, you know, called my attention to say, hey, let, let's enhance this thing and see what's going on in the background. So here we've got this choppy, fuzzy kind of quality. And that's even to the naked eye. So when I see that, I refer to that as staccato cloud. Um, when I say staccato cloud, I just refer to something choppy and dissonant in the atmosphere. So to me, in this case, this looks like uh, almost like, eh, it's not a true sphere, but a little bit. And look, it's got parallel lines and grooves in this thing. So it's either some type of craft that is generating this buzzing that if, or sends out electromagnetic waves or other type of wave activity that creates disturbance in the atmosphere. Or sometimes I believe there's craft up above that then, you know, is generating the wave activity below. Either way, in this case, I'm not really sure what we're looking at, but I know that's, that's artificial, but also has intelligent design. It's like a perfect curve here. And these are two perfectly designed in, these grooves that are all parallel with each other and these little rims coming down and I still don't know what these are but I don't think those are natural oh and let me take one more opportunity to say that um, as far as the craft um, that I'm referring to that could be cloaking it's either 3d where you could walk up knock on it and touch it theoretically or it's very eph ephemeral and ghost-like phantom-like um, if it's interdimensional or it could be a 3d craft that's phasing in and out of state in that moment or it could be something very supernatural and the supernatural I put in the category of air elementals sky wisps things of that nature and so I think these also could be something kind of supernatural I'm not really sure but I know this area this is very low in altitude and it's a very um, um, subtropical to tropical climate so this just should not be appearing um, especially with these color signatures again look at the description box below for the red pink signature um, info and come up to your with your own conclusions on what's generating these colors um, down here towards sunset, the actual sunset supposedly we've got red and orange and yellow pretty vibrant and then this is like a white out with pale gold and then again we get into these strange colors see what you think is going on um, now, in this case, I'm going to do a side-by-side. -side. Um, actually, the enhanced version on the right 
isn't as a, a nice example as usually what happens when I run the enhancements. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time, but not too much on this particular side by side, and we'll get into better examples coming up. But anyway, uh, what caught my attention was this kind of um, this, this, this ridge-like thing coming down with the darker surrounds. This almost looks like actually like the feather, you know, with the ridge coming down. Uh, but anyway, I wasn't really sure what was going on here. I didn't get it too much more. But I'm going to leave this uh, slide for you to look at on your own time. Uh, when you have time, see if you see anything happening in here. Okay, now another side-by-side. -side. On the left is the original. The right is the enhanced version. What struck me odd in this on the original was this kind of uh, very ethereal quality to this light coming down. It's very special. It looks very otherworldly. It's like... um. A really bright cyan LED blue, but doesn't look artificial. That was starting to come down here. And then we just had weird ragtag kind of look artificial looking cloud happening down here. So if we go to the right, and I did some enhancements uh, to see what might be happening. I think this is a bird right here. But anyway, I didn't get at too much more other than that this happening at A.1 is very different than what's happening here. And again, in typical South Florida, you'd have the wind current moving along. This isn't like in Europe. I know sometimes there's an upper level doing something totally crazy in different direction than the lower level. Here in South Florida, it's always just a very consistent blowing across, very predictable. So for this to come down vertical with all of this happening, it's just very odd. So see what you think could be happening. Now, speaking of odd, we're going to look south-southeast. And here, there's just a, um, a cloud formation that at first you might not think twice about, although it is pretty, pretty level down here all the way down at the bottom. But looking at A, that's what really caught my attention, and then possibly at B. So we're going to take a look with an enhancement and look at how clean and uh, these edges are. They couldn't be any more perfectly symmetrical either. And again, if you're new, um, I when I started doing these sky observations, I was noticing a ton, and I still do, of equilateral triangle shapes in the sky, even sometimes octagonal and hex-shaped things, imprints in the sky, uh, a lot of really strange stuff. So I'm really in tune to looking out for these things. So. Look how clean and clear that edge is. So I'm not sure if this is a cloud body, something cloaked in front of this, you know, that's sitting in front of it, or this is actually notched out. Uh, see what you think. But B.1 also, that looks very unnatural. There's a, sh um, a very even straight edge here and here as well. So I'm going to say that's some type of cloaking object. I don't know if this overall thing is a ship or cloaking craft of some type. I suspect that it is. Um, and then there's like weird little things that are parallel to each other. They look like they're designed. Uh, they even have like a little bit, if you really look, um, bright point and shadow to them. So that looks like the end of a pipe. And that looks like a long pipe. So I'm going to say this is an engineered feature and, a feature, and I'm going to go ahead and guess that this overall thing is just the tip or the bow of a cloaking craft gliding across. Okay, now this one I'm not going to spend too much time on. On the left is the original, the right is the enhanced version. Uh, just because I can't really see too much in this one other than look at the negatives, the voids left in here, you know. And then we have this, this solid thing going off on this angle. Everything's like at a different angle yet parallel in a way. Uh, just really odd activity. So I've got to say something must be cloaking in there. Um, we're going to look at this scene looking south um, a little bit after 8 p.m., still on July 3rd. And again, we've got this really sharp, it looks like an inverted triangle, and then this cutout is like the, the void of a triangle. So we're going to look at it with enhancement, and I don't get at it too much more in this one, but this is very much, you know, look at how straight, again, these edges are. That's not natural cloud formation. Then we're going to look at uh, south here, I think is still part of that, that, yes, it is. This is still part of that cloud formation at CC.1 that we were looking at. We still have that notch out there. We still see some little elements, if you're looking at the right-hand side with me at the enhanced version. We have still elements that look pipe-like or cone-like that have dimension to them in shadow. Um, at 8.1, there's this very pink, you know, look at it as its own, own color signature standing alone here. It's an equilateral triangle. So I'm going to say, and look at all these little bits. They all have like triangular shapes and then buried in here. So some kind of strange cloaking is going on in here. And uh, I'm going to say there's definitely artificial, you know, intelligence. I mean, not intelligence, um, intelligent design at work up in here. And then look here at B, you know, that's just a totally different type of cloud. So even if you just look at this, this, and this, that just doesn't occur in nature in this area. So I got to suspect that these guys are, you know, of intelligent design and cloaking. And I don't know, maybe that is too. All right, now, this is the exciting portion of the show I've been dying to get to. So 
I'm just calling it 20 minute morphing sequence happening between 1043 in the morning and 11 in the morning on July 4th. So watch this thing. So here we go. I've got A, B, and C tagged, okay? So I'm looking off to the east in the morning and this was taking on a distinct shape. And so I stuck around a while to watch it and it started morphing into different things. But until we get to the morphing part, I'm gonna put the enhancement on it just to see if we can see any little elements. I see some very designed looking elements happening here around the perimeter. And here, look at these grooves. You know, these kinds of grooves are very precise and don't just happen in nature. And then I was seeing little fragments of bits and pieces that typically do accompany or com are like companions to these things that show up as cloak and craft. Like this little dot here and this looks like something embedded or hiding in cloak and craft. And we have like circular things happening. So anyway, we're going to zoom in on the what I will call, um, you know, the, we'll just say the, the right hand side of this thing. But look, it goes to a peak, like a very pronounced... Um, sharp lines here and sharp uh, edges again too perfect to be you know just a natural cloud forming and especially in this area and look at all of this that's not natural cloud it's got rough texture to it anyhow we're going to look at the other end and look at b.3 we've got a triangle sitting right in there we have the weird little things popping up and getting more pronounced we have this straight line in the middle of all this stuff and then look at these grooves this is designed no question about it and this looks like a force field coming off in front of this thing you know creating a ripple effects or something or maybe it's part of a cloak and craft emerging this is a point with something strange that looks very designed feels very designed Anyway, 1049, a little bit later, it turns into this. But look at this at C.4. There are grooves. They're starting to expand and grow. And look how perfect those are. Look how perfect of a design. Um, and then we start to get the overall shape with, you know, just looks like some kind of jet or speeder or spacecraft, right? So it's got little things trailing off here at A.4. Uh, look at this little dot with a trail coming off of it, another pronounced dot there. We're going to look at it with enhancement. We even see like a crater. It looks like a, you know, uh, a depressed circle here. And then we start getting some more detail popping up. If this is starting to look like the bow now, like the bow of the ship at the front and the stern in the back, that's what we're starting to see. This even implies movement that it's moving down this way and the, you know, trailing the vapor behind it. So it's looking very interesting. And, you know, again, look at these perfect holes. They're, you know, they're depressions. Look at this. That has intelligent design to it. And then we're going to look at the other end, and there are these grooves. Look at this. They definitely look like, um, like air intake or outtake, whatever you want to say. And then look, if this is like the surface, the top of the deck, we got this weird pipe-like thing with the end, you know, very clear to it. So make of it what you will, but I see a ship, I see a cloak and craft. Then at 11 a.m., this is the prize winner here on the cover of the show, uh, we start to see this. So that really looks like a ship. And here too, like either a big deck of one looking out windows or a porthole, whatever. But look here, we start to see circular elements, perfect circles. So now we're going to look at it with some enhancement. And wow, my mind was really expanded. I don't like to use the term mind-blowing. I want to say mind-expanding. It's more positive. But anyway, look at this. This is a craft, and uh, I can't really see it any other way. Again, because of the perfection of these grooves in the front. And now we see something bigger with more bulk emerging to it. You know, there's a pipe over here if you follow my cursor. Um, again, this could be a deck and right at the center of it because this thing is uh, symmetrical. Look at this. It's got circular around this opening, circular ends, uh, rounded ends, I want to say, if this is an opening. And look at one thing here. That it's like, um, I don't know if it's like a conical form. Uh, coming out if it's coming out toward you but we got a bright point at the top with shadow going back so that implies some kind of a uh, machined or um, engineered element right here in the center of this thing and then look at this I don't think you can get any more perfect for a circle at D and there's some designed element in there um, and then E there's like this thing popping out here so I am flabbergasted say what you will put in an expletive that you like um, I can't believe what I'm seeing, but yet it's there. And then here, this would be a wing on one side. I'm assuming one's on the other side. You know, we're just looking at, if this is the, the bow of a ship and that's the back of the stern is what I'm going to say, then what we're looking at the left side is the port side, and the other side would be starboard over here by B8. Okay, enough on that, but we're going to zoom in now. Let me toggle back for a second. We're going to look at D, this perfect element, designed element here. Look at that. That is a circle. And then within it, it looks like a triangle. 
So D.1 is an enormous question mark. I have a question down here. Um, you know, I don't know the answer to this, but I'm just throwing out things I just can possibly think of what it could be. If you have any great ideas, feel free to put them in the comment section below if you like, but if for privacy reasons you don't want to, no big deal. Um, but really, just contemplate this. I, I can't I can't think of anything that could be more clear in the sky to show that there's cloak and craft happening. But anyway, um, so what is item D above here? Uh, hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. So is it craft identification, craft ID, like an emblem or a shield? Is it a radar dish, an energy shield generator of some type for the craft? Uh, cloaking material generator, cloaking device, sonic and or laser device that shoots stuff out or weaponry of some kind? Is it a data collector, a galactic lifesaver, if you will, to throw out to save somebody? It is a circle. Uh, that's just a little tongue-in-cheek idea, but really, what is it? Is it an air filter, quote-unquote air filter out there, or some kind of navigational beacon or scanner? Uh, or what can you come up with? Um, but hey, it's a circle. That's all I'm going to say, and no cloud can do that to that perfection. Um, and then we're going to look at E.1. There's this weird little thing coming off at the end, and when I like blow out some of the... Um, uh, the brightness on this photo, you know, we can again see this clear, perfect edge of what would be like a shield mounted to the side of a ship. And then over here we get this weird thing, it's like a, a pipe or stick-like thing coming out with something at the end. Again, that looks like a machine part, not any, you know, there's just no cloud that will make that form around the perimeter of it. Uh, no natural cloud that I know of. See what you think though. All right, now just to recap the morphing sequence, you know, I started to see this in the sky and then I was going around 360 taking pictures around and then I came back a little later and I'm like, oh, that thing changed. <laughs> and that's what we get at 1049. And then later, again, I did a round of going around 360 and taking things and then I came back at 11 and I'm like, oh, holy smokes, this is, you know, really well defined now. Um, you know, we came a long way from 1043 to this. And then it looked like, you know, a ship to the naked eye, but I didn't see this level of detail of a perfect circle here up at the top. Um, I can't see what you think. All right, now we're going to move on. And this is looking north around the same time frame of that, that craft coming and morphing. And this just looks strange. So we got this kind of movement with this movement. And just this overall cloud structure is nothing that ever really pops up. It's just really strange. And then we get these smudge outs. Look how it looks like somebody took their finger, you know, if this were a painting up in the sky and they just smudged it or smudged their palm, their whole handprint up. You know, it was fuzzy and smudged to the naked eye. So what the heck is going on in here? Well, we're at least going to look at some enhancement. Look at this. Look at all this ripple work, this fine ripple work. So to me, again, this is some type of craft local. This isn't harp technology where you have the bigger rays sending out bigger waves across, you know, the planet. I think this is local. And I think it's uh, craft up here. And they send down waves to help cloak whatever they're doing. Uh, that's what I'm going with. Anyway, C.1, there's a darker shadow imprint. Uh, strange, like, you know blade-like thing coming down. I think we caught that before. And just all really, really strange stuff happening. So I'll go ahead and look at this on your own time when you have more time. See what you find in there. Here's just another view of it looking off a little bit. So there's like that blade-like element, feather-like element coming down. Just reminds me of that shape. Um, then we have it be, you know, like this darker imprint and all this smudge work right in there. It is just so bizarre. All right, now we're going to look at another scene expanded a little bit more. And at A, we have like a a downturn, an imprint of a triangle, have this weird, you know, darker uh, void here as well with different cloud forms, you know, all over the place doing different things. Uh, so let's look at this with uh, some enhancement. And um, I'm going to leave this one again, if you don't mind, to take a look on your own in a little more detail. I've, you know, flagged some elements I find that are key, uh, but see what else you can find in this one. All right, now we're looking west-northwest, uh, July 4th, um, before some of the fireworks started to go in the, this area at, at close to 8.45 p.m. And it just looks strange. This went up to a triangular form with some weird structure kind of happening down here. This whole thing looks symmetrical, though. Looks like this whole thing could be a triangular-type craft. It looks like a triangle here at B. Uh, there's just a lot of strange things happening in the overall scene, like over here too, this little object, you know, in between this split. And, you know, there's just a lot of strangeness happening in general in this area. And you also have to go by sixth sense, not just with your eyes and the camera, what it can find, but also if you feel something weird in the sky, uh, I usually say this in the beginning of the show, just take a picture, even if it's like a um, glare in your face from, from the quote-unquote sun and you can't see much, just hold the camera up without looking, don't blind yourself, but 
hold it up and take a snapshot and then later when you bring it inside or, or go wherever in the shade you can take a look and you'll see some things you didn't see before. Anyhow, this is interesting. It almost looks like a hole or a ring around it with some structural elements. Uh, very bizarre scene. I can't really tell you much more than that. See what you see in that view. And then I'm zooming in just a little bit more because this really looks like rigid structure. It looks like a bright point and shadow. You know, this is vertical. These little I don't know. It's not like a gear, the edge of a gear, but something strange is happening here. And again, this looks like a like a hole. Is you know whether that's a if you cut a tube that might have a more uh, square shape at the end. But whatever the case, just really strange. <laughs> See what you think is happening there. Okay, now um, if we look at A, that's our you know triangular form going up, and we were just looking at these little pieces here at A three and A four. Now let's look down at A through E, lowercase. Look at all of this. Um, down here we have like a triangular form and what is going on just it was strange enough for me to say hey let's look at this in detail so we're going to zoom in and at A we see some darker shape with what looks like it has a trail behind it this thing looks like it like zoomed down here look at this it's got solidity to it it looks like it has intelligent design B.2 looks like a shadow of a triangle in the back uh, we got a triangular form here with other types of triangular you know corners within it almost like a Christmas tree effect you know, happening down here on the side profile. This weird little things, you know, of all different shapes and kinds are happening within here. So I'm just going to say this is a cluster of cloak and craft. It all felt really weird too. So here we look with enhancement just to pop out some of these features and backlight them a bit, see what's going on. You know, this looks like a, a pure triangle zooming off from out of this cluster. That's what I see. And look down here at 8.3, it looks like a, some type of pipe, a flattened pipe or something sticking out of either a triangular or trapezoidal form. See what you find in this one. It's really interesting. Okay, and this is just one more view before we leave it, I think, um, of that whole clustered area. Just really bizarre stuff, but something is reaching from down here up into this strange mass up above. Uh, see what you can find in this one. All right, we're going to zoom in now on looking south. And I know it's kind of dark, so let's look at the right-hand side. But this was looking to the south. Before, we, just now, we were looking to the, the west and northwest. Now, looking to the south, we see a clear imprint of a symmetrical triangle as well. So see what you think is going on in here. Um, again, it, that's a pretty clear imprint. And to me, that's cloaking material around the outside of it. All right, now this is a scene just straight up <laughs> looking north of um, a neighborhood firework. Somebody really uh, invested heavy and had some pretty big, <laughs> big fireworks going on. But look, I like the way this caught the moment of the trajectory of this thing launching up from the earth and into the sky, popping right there. So that's the epicenter of all of this. So it's a really cool moment. And then this thing discharged. Actually, it landed pretty close to where I was. Very interesting and a lot of fun to watch. Not so great for the animals, though. I don't like when those go off because um, anything sensitive to it doesn't have a good time. But anyway, uh, it is one of those human man-made marvels, though, uh, that I did enjoy for the moment, uh, pardoning the poor animals. Anyhow, now we're going to move to July 5th. And so this was strange looking south. You know, we have this kind of activity going on in the sky. We'll look at the right-hand side. I blew up the... Uh, brought up the brightness quite a bit. What is this? This is not natural in the sky and clouds, you know, no way. So what do you see in there? I see a little, maybe a triangular form here. Something that looks like little uh, holes, like uh, square holes in here. Um, I am not really sure, but I can just tell you, just from my sense of doing this intently for like three years, that that's gotta be a uh, cloak and craft assembly like that. Looks like one object and this is another object. And maybe there's one up here too. Um, you know, or, or this is an overall one craft with something even like a fin going all the way back. Looks like another like delta shaped craft or something happening up in here. Uh, see what you see though. All right, this one just looks kind of clear cut to me. Uh, looking to the south, this was just a very odd teardrop shape on its side. It's not a natural cloud form whatsoever. So when we do some enhancement, voila, we see something that looks like an ellipse with a trail behind it, like zooming this way. Uh, and then this thing too looks darker, it looks like an object. God knows only what's going on back in here too. But I will tell you all of this is not natural cloud. Okay, speaking of not natural cloud, <laughs> this thing was arcing and this one echoing it beyond. It just looked really weird in the sky, not typical. And then here we go. We've got some reddish pink signature happening in here. So I'm just gonna flag A and B for now. This looks like solid, whether it's a stick, you know, or two different elements. Really weird. Very weird to be a cloud. 
Um, and then C.1, I'm just kind of breaking it down. There could be an object in here with plasma wafting over it. We have a different color signature between this thing and this material. So that's why I think that's a solid object with, you know, cloaking material around it. And then D.1, I'm just looking to, it just feels like, you know, this is a really straight edge here and a straight edge here. Too perfect to be a non-design and just a natural cloud floating through. All right, now we're going to look at another scene looking east, and this really dark point caught my attention, and then I started to see a shadow of something above. Looks like tufted um, plasma happening all around this thing, like a little aura of a different kind of smoke, a change in the sky. This is a very dead level. And this too, just all of it looked really weird and felt really weird, so let's move on here and look at it with enhancement. And again, that point still stays, stays dark and true. So I'm going to say, the more I look at it, this looks like an overall craft with two prongs in the back, if this were the uh, the stern in the back, and that would be the bow to the front. And then the more you, you put it together that way, you start to see the overall craft shape, then you start to see these little holes on the sides for exhaust or whatever. It even looks like streams are coming out of it. And that looks like, you know, coming to a point and we have st solid matter. So to me, like, you know, this would be the, the command area or, you know, the deck or whatever. And the, um, the uh, starboard side, the right-hand side here, a port over here. See what you think though. Okay, then we have another scene. Just looked weird looking east. You know, we've got this bent thing coming over here, this little thing, you know, round thing coming down there. It looks round anyway from this view. And the weird choppy staccato type cloud. And even the light quality just seemed really weird, the color. So we go to the right-hand side, and here we've got this weird bent element doing its thing this way, while this thing is more or less straight this way, also kind of rounded in shape. While this is coming across dead level, all these weird things, that zooming off looks like an object, looks like a triangle zooming off here to the right. A uh, weird fish-like shape thing going off this way. All of this activity with all these different angles and movements just say right away that's artificial assembly of whatever is going on in there. And look at C.1. It looks like something's dropping down in there with some plasma over it. So let's take a look at that C element a little bit more. C.2, we're just zoomed in, no enhancement. Uh, but weird stuff's popping up here with that bright white color. You know, just strange things, strange movement, especially with this thing at C.2. So we look with enhancement, and lo and behold, look at this. C.3 looks like a very pronounced object with cloaking material around it. Uh, no question, because if clouds are moving across like this, this is really low and dipping down. What the heck is that thing doing? So it's an object. Now, whether it's a craft or a sensor or some other type of instrumentation or whatever, I'm still going to call it cloaking and that it's of advanced ET or, or other technological means. Now we look at D.1 down here and it's it's got the form of a triangle with some texture on the front of it. We've got a crescent shape here. We've got all kinds of stuff going on in here. Have fun looking around more in your own time. Okay, now this one, uh, left is the original, right is the enhanced version. I just saw this strange shape kind of s almost swirling around with these weird arms like swirled on the sides. And I look at the enhanced version, I couldn't get it too much more. But look what a weird shape. It's like these crab arms on the sides. It's like weird groove thing in the top. Maybe that's the top. I don't know. Uh, see what you think is going on in that scene. And then this one, weird arms again. You know, the, the original's on the left. It just looks strange. We had a straight line, other line, kind of like tracing an outline of something. So when we look at the right-hand side, look at this thing actually crosses. It's a pure intersection. And, you know, look at this. So that doesn't form in nature. What the heck is this thing? Is it organic? Is it some kind of like sky, interdimensional, I don't want to say monster, but creature or something? Who knows? Uh, see what you find in there, though. And then um, in the similar area of the sky, I think that might have even been the same thing. Look at this perfect cross pattern intersection. And there's something weird happening today. So let's look here. And bam, with enhancement, look at this. It's a cross structured shape. And then I don't know what this thing is down here at C.1, but I know it's not natural. And the same thing with A. So is this all part of one weird installation? Um, you know, I don't want to say weird, but, you know, something we're not used to seeing. Or, you know, is it three different parts or even more? I'm not sure. See what you think is going on, though. And then this one, strange. It just seemed to be like this, this shape, you know, this arch-like shape, pointed arch. Um, and just some weird movements in the sky that aren't typical. And then with enhancement, we kind of see a little bit more. So this looks like an object here, cloaking, maybe creating this field around it. Not sure. Looks like, um, you know, we've got another pointed arch shape here. Just all very strange. C.1 looks like an arrowhead. Um, you know, there's just a lot of strange point. You know, D.1, look at this star shape or something. Uh, see what you think is happening in that scene. 
Okay, everyone. Well, this is the photo of the day and the close of the show. So thank you for lighting up the room here with your sparkling um, energy, if you will. Uh, thanks for being here a while. And um, these are just fireworks in the streets of Miami, Florida, again on July 4th. So I, uh, if it is the weekend for you already, hope you're having fun, or if you're about to begin it, same thing. And um, just wishing you all tremendous peace and love. Lavender Sky Panther. Bye.